Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Thrix. This is Andrew and this is Gizmo. The Gremlin Gizmo. Kobe is Come on. Up. Oh. There is Kobe. Okay. So Bark Box. It's pupper time. Pupper time. Um, and then I have uh one happy mail package to also show. So this is Bark Box. Um this is not affiliated. We bought this with our own money. Yep. Um, so we get the Super Chewer box, which is 45 a month before discounts. That's if you just pay for it month by month. You get some sort of discount. I did. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's month by month, and I and you do get discounts for six months and a year. Yeah. So it's cheaper if you pay um, up front or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so with that, you get two treats and two toys. And then, um, Average. you can also Sometimes do like, e oh, okay. So that's like the base. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you can, I probably have dialogue. You can also do add-ons. Yeah, you can also do add-ons. By the way, I look a complete hot mess. I am roasting and anyway. I know I have one add-on in this box. I don't remember what we did because it, you do it the month before and this box took a little while to get here this month. So I haven't looked at this in like a month. I felt like it seemed like it had taken away. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, it didn't ship out until the 19th on that one, so yeah. So, go get your puppies, let them come for which all is, the squeaks. And... Which is about when it's supposed to come, by, by what I heard from my coworker, mm. who used to have it. It is normally the second week of the month that it uh, ships out. Okay, so I'm going to come down so that we can see the puppers. Okay. Good kids. You want to smell? Oh, I remember what the add-on is. It's right here on the side. It is. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes, I forgot. It's a little Gryffindor bandana. from Harry Potter. Huh? Yeah, bandana, bandana I think. Bandana for Gizimo. Don't and wear it. Is there a two? No, there's just one. Oh, okay. Because uh, Kobe will not Co wear Yeah, Kobe does not like uh, wearable stuff. And when we put Gizmo in a sweater, um, Kobe lost it and like tried to take it off of him. I'm not really sure what that was about. Okay. I'm just gonna tuck this in his collar. I don't. His neck's a little bit too big. So here. it's a box inside a box. Now I just want to tell you. It's because there's add-ons. That's why it's a box. From a uh, loving Earth standpoint, bark box. Not that you're watching. Do better because that's ridiculous. That little bandana could have fit inside this, and there's all this extra shipping for no reason. It's wasteful. Besides that, okay. And here's Gizmo with the bandana on. <laughs> oh my gosh! There's a hand. It must be chewed on. Anyway, okay. Um, yep, so you guys are gonna see before I do. This is a little bit. What it looks like. Oh, I know what kind of stuff's gonna be in it. Okay. So it says. Yeehaw. Oh man, I can't read that. It says Yeehaw Nashville. Or Yeehaw. Yeehaw Nashville. Um, and then here is the goodies. The box looks like. Okay. Easy, don't you on this. Kobe. Kobe, look. Smell. Do you want to turn around? Let me get him turned around. Everyone on okay. here knows I'm loud. So I scooted back so the puppers could be front and center. Ooh, feel this one. This is like a, it looks like a oh, cheese. Oh wow, that's hot. like a rock hard nubby ball inside. Yeah. That might last a while. Let me, let me see what it says on the tag. Oh, I can't make it chew. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> this is one of the tough chewer guys. Okay, yep, I'm gonna read yeah, it. Yeah, we you're... have to have tough chewers. They are both tough chewers. <laughs> it's yours, buddy. It's yours. Good boy. Hold on. All right, there you go. All right. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> it's called Nashville Hot Hot Chicken Dog Toy. It is a rip and reveal. So the the soft outside edge can be ripped apart. And then the hardball inside is going to be like the one that will last like for very, very long now, time. Now, does that encourage them to tear things apart though? But there's a lot of toys that work that way. I think if they happen to, to rip it apart, you still have a toy left over. Oh, this is cool. And it's a spiky core on the inside. So then there is a boot 
That is tough too. That's nice. That's really toughly made. Okay, here's the thing for that. Can you smell? This is the that bark and boot. And they also tell you. Here, let me show you. This so this is tells you that it's rip and reveal. Tells you the features. Is this a rip and reveal? Oh, and I'll get to it here. In a second. This is how to play it safe. Oh. The sa safety it's things. Shaky in there. And then they're the guarantee. All right. This has a, the boot has a rubber core, squeaker core, tough stitch, and a reinforced nylon strap for tug. It tells you all the stuff to do with it and stuff. Okay, we'll set that right there. Reinforced fabric and the safeties on this. And then their guarantee thing on that one. This feels like something you could like freeze or like one of those Himalaya chew kind of things that we have for the chins. It's not as like porous, but what is that? It is nylon. Or a salt lick is what I meant. Okay, so um, it's called, okay. this one's called the Chonky Tong Guitar. It's in a bag, probably because there's no, oh, no other way to get off. the thing off. I got off. you. Okay. Um, it says chewing to get rough stand. They're sand down this toy if it starts to get sharp edges. So this is not a nylon technically. So if it gets too sharp for the dogs, you, you sand it down and make it um, not sharp again. That seems like an awful lot of work. Just washer safe. Uh, unique chew points and grip for the dog. Dog, so it says paw and jaw, so they can kind of like move it around, move it. Mm. Uh, it says perfect for peanut butter for like the ridges and stuff. Um, Yo, he's like, I heard a bag. <laughs> also. Hold on. I guess it's supposed to have an apple scent, according to what it says, but I don't really smell apple on it. I, I kind of just smell... It smells it. like bacon and rubber. <laughs> I smell bacon more than anything, too. Let me get this out of the bag, buddy. <laughs> this is your guitar. Look at this guitar. He's a, he loves to chew on bones. He is chewing all the time. We have to keep chewers around because otherwise our stuff gets chewed. Uh, couch leg. He's good at knowing what's his. Though. He is starting to get way better. But the, uh, you know the little um, um, presser thing for the office chairs? Yeah. That like could, He's very exuberant. He's very excited. Um, that, I constantly, it's his, like, favorite thing. He likes to go and try to chew on it. Bye-bye. We got treats. We got cookies. Oh, he now. knows. That's part of what got him over here. So, there's something in the bottom of the box that says top 10. I don't know what it, that's the tags for everything, but we can look at that in a minute. So, what was the extra that we ordered? The, the bandana. Oh, the bandana was the extra. Yeah. So, all of this came in the tough chewer box? Correct. Oh, that's not bad. So, we got, like, three. Yeah toys and then there's three treats one of them is kind of a sample size but that's actually very cool okay so this is called wakey wakey loops trunk uh, crunchy treats bacon and cheese <laughs> recipe he knows what a treat bag looks like they use a lot of the same packaging on their well stuff, you can so smell it, looks... it like i can it's very strong strongly scented bacon and cheese recipe uh yeah and they're crunchy crunchy now, Kobe will chew on stuff, but he likes to take his stuff off and go chew it somewhere. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not a social chewer. Gizmo will let you hold it and move it in his mouth yeah. and get a better grip on it. He so likes that. They look like um, Cheerios, Cheerios, but like really thick. Gentle. On here. Gentle. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Paw. <laughs> good paw. Okay, gentle. High five. Yeah. Good oh, boy. That was really That's good. Gentle. High five. Gentle. Good, gentle. Good boy. Good boy. High five. Give me five. Good job. Give me five. There you go. Good job. Like, I'll give you my, I'll give Daddy and Mama at the same time. Okay. Hold on. Here's That's another lamb. one. But Daddy, read Called this Baba one. Baba Soft Bakes Lamb Recipe. So this is lamb and cheddar cheese, it looks like. I like the packaging. Okay, this is weird. It's a tactile thing. It's the soft matte feel. Yeah. I love it. Oh. It's not in my mouth. What was that about? Okay. These kind of smell like a fig. A little bit. He's like, I'll take it now. Gentle. Easy. Gentle. Good gentle. boy. Good, easy. Good, oh, gentle. that was such a good boy. Oh, 
all. I just dropped it on my back. <laughs> okay, and then here's like, um... These are fruit and veggies. Superfood meal topper. So this isn't a treat. Something you put in their meal. Antioxidant rich mix in for wiggling tails and extra playtime. So it's supposed to be like an antioxidant superfood kind of thing. Um, it says for doggies our side, you use a quarter cup. So, so like the whole thing. Probably. We can just split it between them. Yeah, and see yeah, because they like they're it. 25 plus pounds. So, Gizmo is a chunk. He is big for a Frenchie. He's he's really big. Yeah, he's almost the same weight as uh, Kobe. Almost. Yeah, and Kobe is small because Kobe isn't just German Shepherd. He's uh, German Shepherd and what'd you say? Beagle. Beagle's my my guess. He kept telling me that he was Beagle. Like when we got him, they said he was German Shepherd Hound. And he kept saying, oh, he's Beagle. And I'm like, Beagle? That's like the Fraser dog. He's not a Beagle. And then he showed on the internet um, German Shepherd Beagle mix. And I swear, Kobe's one of the pictures. It looks just like him. So he's German Shepherd Kobe. German Shepherd Kobe. German Shepherd Beagle. Okay, that's great. So this is just like little fun facts and fun things on there. Some fake songs, top 10 songs. One of them's... Uh, the top time the top top one of the this week is there's a pill in my cheese by the lonesome Howl, hounds and stuff like that <laughs> so corny okay so that was our bark box for the month now next month guys is super cool because it was pride month this month and so they had lots of like rainbow ish stuff and we had a little bit of fun plus they had a deal where it what was the deal well, they always have, like, every every month they have deals where if you get so many add-ons, you get certain things for free. Uh, and so, I think they had, they, had, they had one thing if you got, like, two Pride Month things. So, I got, like, a rainbow flying saucer thing and another toy. Uh, spoiler alerts. Um, so, so um, those two things, and then you got, like, another thing for free. And then they also had where if you ordered X amount of add-ons, you got X amount of stuff. Uh, which was, like, a Super. shark fin toy thing or a back thing and, and like a sprinkler i'm curious about the shark fin back toy how that's going to go having two dogs because i mean i think that we're gonna have to this film one that that's was, gonna be chaotic yeah this one right here doesn't like things on the back and doesn't like it when things are on the back of the other one. yeah like i said the sweater he wasn't having it with gizmo um, okay um, so this is a happy melt package from um Crystal over at Crystal Leone Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady um, from her and from her and or her grandmother. I'm not sure if it was just Miss Patricia Mima or if it was for both of them. Um, but I will link her below. Okay, so this is for the baby. Not for you, Gizmo. Not you, baby. The human baby that's coming he in September. He is so bad. Don't. You can't touch it. No. Um. So here's a little no. Easter plush. No. He's not. <laughs> what was that? Just like baby sharking in the air. I know. <laughs> so there's a little Easter plush. It's so soft and cute. Mama is going to absolutely love that. She is an animal lover and oh, she's going to love that. That's the whole nursery is being done in like neutral tones and like animals and like woodland animals and stuff. You can watch it from right here. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I wonder what they taste like. <gasps> Miss Patricia, these are gorgeous. Look at these little lace booties. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They got little bows on the side. And then there is a, <clears throat> there's a little hat to match it. That is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. And it's made out of mercerized cotton. Um, I'm pretty sure. So like, that's something that will last. That's, that's beautiful. And then, oh, it's so soft. There's a little, a little baby blanket. Um, 
made out of a granny stitch and it's like cream color um, with yellow and um, oh my gosh like delphinium blue mm -hmm. like very country very country vibe like color situation and I love that I think that's so pretty it's got a really pretty little border shell border on it that's cute thank you so much um we're gonna be having a baby shower in august um here on the channel as soon as i can get andrew pinned down to go for us to go and open a p.o box hopefully we can do that tomorrow maybe okay. uh go open a p.o box so that all you aunties and grandmas out there um i told I told the kids to get a like Amazon wish list revised and stuff too, and we're gonna do a whole baby shower. And then there are, um, let's see. So there are silicone, uh, I can't say the word or I'll get demonetized, bottle, bottle poppers, pops. Yeah. which is ridiculous. Don't even give me, so it's such a, it's a pedestal. Pedestal. I cannot talk today. Ugh. I even know where you're going with it. I don't know. Soapbox a mile high. Oh, okay. It frustrates me so much with what can and cannot be said and the gender um, double standard. So there's diaper rash cream and there's bottle toppers. For you. And then little teeny baby washcloths. For you. It gets all for me. What are you talking about? <laughs> you Everything is for me. You need to rewatch when you do the booties and his eyes are just <laughs> falling every time you move it. It's so funny. I'm going to put all of this back in here so that it's protected from gizmo. We'll put it in the little baby stash we got going on. And okay. And then there is a card. We'll give you it says Thrist, congrats. Congratulations, Thrist, on your first grandbaby. Mima Patricia wanted to send you some items she made and some she bought. Big hugs, sincerely, Crystal and Patricia. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate that. That's gonna go in the stack of cards I have. I always keep my cards. Y'all, that means so much to me, and I know it's gonna mean so much to the kids that you guys thought of them. My goodness, you are. If you were squeezing that, you could get to squeak. Oh, that's yeah, the guys, like, I'm strong. He's, he's I have sure. strong upper body strength, and I could not get that <laughs> thing to squeak. That's crazy. Um, anyway, that means so much to me. Something, you know, that you made with your own two hands, and yeah, I think that's very cool. Um, I cannot wait to, oh, I cannot wait to hold my grandbaby all wrapped up in a blinkie. I'm just smelling a little head, and oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We are closing in. She is due in September, and oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh, the things we are going to make and buy. Um. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys the ambiance. I wanted you to hear all the snorts and... The happy doggies. I think it's a very happy doggie. I'm, like I said, for the for the bark box, I'm very happy with it. Because it's... There's so many times when I go to the, the store and I'm like... I could go pick up a bag of treats, or I could go pick up the this, and they really like these treats. They do. They really, they're, they seem like really good quality, really good ingredients, and the toys are still here. And that's the thing is like we'll get them toys, and they're destroyed by the end of the night yeah. usually. Very seldomly do they last more than a week, and these toys are lasting. These are the first toys that have ever actually survived these two. So that to me makes it worth it. And they get so excited when the box comes in. They're smelling it. They're just waiting. Kobe's a gr old grump. But, he is an old but, grump. But what is he's like He's just sitting like that for like the longest time. I love you. I think it's gonna rain soon and I think he's yeah. in that. He's, he he is absolutely an old grump. And but, Gizmo's the exact opposite. He loves the water and he loves the rain and 
he doesn't. Oh, I have an animal question for you guys. Oh. Our cat, what is she? Nine? Year? She's older. nine. Is she older? Older. Oh, we got her in 13. He's the one we got in 15. So she's 11. Yeah. So we have an 11 year old cat and um, she has never been afraid of storms before. And suddenly on the pa in the past like two or three months, I noticed that she started hiding under my desk anytime that it storms. And then day before yesterday, um, she had found her way over by me instead of going into the desk. And when she was walking, she was walking really low to the ground like really low to the ground like army crawling and she was all fluffed out and whenever I picked her up and set her by me I mean all claws were out she laid down and just like shoved herself against and slightly under my thigh and would not move um she stayed in that spot and she would not move she is afraid of storms all of a sudden and I don't know why that would happen I don't know. Is that just like a sign of old age? Um, Cause she's fine any other time. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Do animals do that? Do they just suddenly start Change. being afraid of something that they like without trauma being related to it? Cause I could understand if she like got locked out or something like that during a storm and you know, then it'd be like a trauma response, but that's not it. She just suddenly is afraid of them. Used to, she would sit at the, sliding glass door uh, I'd have it open with the screen shut because I really love storms and she would be sitting there at the screen watching and listening to it she never used to be afraid of it so I don't know it's a little it's a little strange to me anyway all right guys I have a lot of work to do yeah um we have a lot of work to do so we're gonna get to it but I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to go ahead and release it the day that we recorded it. Um, which is June 21st. Oh, we missed summer solstice was yesterday. Gosh dang it. Is it the 21st? Is it today? It's not always on the 21st. Oh, gotcha. Um, well, it usually is, but it's... I'm not really sure... Maybe you guys can answer that too because I don't remember. Is it it's it's usually the 21st of June, but it was the 20th this year. Maybe because it And that's be why I missed it because it's usually the 21st. Yeah. Why was it the 20th this year? My bad is a leap year. So Probably. it pushes it a day forward <coughs> because every other day is a day behind. That's my guess. I don't know. Yeah. Something I can look up. I'm tired. All right, guys. I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay weird, stay, stay crafting weird. tools.